The University of Florida football team has suspended a player accused of sexually assaulting a woman early Sunday morning. Freshman quarterback Treon Harris is now suspended indefinitely from the Gators football team. The Miami Herald reports university police were called to a campus housing complex to investigate a sexual battery allegation. U.S. President also released a statement that read, in part, we have no tolerance for sexual assault on our campus. At the time of the call to police, Harris was only hours removed from leading Florida to a comeback win over rival Tennessee, a win some considered season-saving for the team and job-saving for head coach Will Muschamp at a school where football expectations are incredibly high. But some media outlets have already noted the way Florida is handling Harris' status on the team so early in a criminal investigation. It comes during a time when collegiate and professional sports have been criticized for going light on athletes. It's obvious to me that uh, the University of Florida is paying particular uh, attention to the climate uh, right now as it relates to assault, alleged assaults on college campuses and in our society. You don't have to look any further than longtime in-state rival Florida State to see exactly the criticism Florida is trying to avoid. A woman accused star quarterback Jameis Winston of rape in late 2012, a case the university's athletic department didn't reveal until months later. Perhaps another nod to how seriously Florida took even the whiff of a sexual assault investigation, beat reporters began trying to find out what was happening after the Gators canceled a weekly press conference. One of the beat writers who broke the story put that move into perspective, noting in his 20 plus years of covering the team, the press conference even went on as scheduled the day of the 9-11 attacks. An attorney Florida Today reports has represented hundreds of Gator athletes, told the newspaper he was also representing Harris. The attorney said he was hopeful when the investigation into Harris was completed, there would be no arrest. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.